Where was the water up to? I'm sorry. Well, I would imagine it's up there where you see the line, kind of, the dirt line. Took all this down. Yeah, I mean, the down. trees have no leaves, took all that. The most important thing we can do for everybody is get them power back. Every, everything we're trying to do is all tied to power. Every, and so we got we got to keep getting these tankers in and get fuel everywhere around the state. But we got to get people their power back. Well, I flew over here uh, the day before yesterday and see what we're doing Coast Guard, and I saw all the devastation. Uh, okay, you know, now we're I think we're flying at 500 feet. I thought it was bad. Getting here is way worse. Well, I'm sorry this happened. Oh, well, aren't we all? But I, I'm Take just. Thank you. I'm just grateful it's still standing. And you're alive. And I'm alive. Real bad. I mean, uh, yeah. And uh, we've been getting mixed um, reports, uh, false, you know, saying there's ice here or something there. And you get there, it's, it's not there, you know. So mixed, uh, you know, well, bad information. You, you, know, you know how they say. I got nervous for a minute. Like the, the when the train water started yeah, hitting the house, what keep saying about the like train, that, it's more like a whistle. A little bit of a It's a whistle. We the wall was right there. You can see the eye wall right there, black. They were on triple oh, They were on triple oak going that they were out there in the sun. And I'm going looking out, going, not in that black wall, and it was solid black, and it was just it was black. Black. I mean you couldn't see ten feet. One in ten, maybe, of these roofs are okay. If you're lucky. I mean every roof there is damaged.